There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. All right, we are recording. And this is a long time coming. I'm talking to Michael J. Whalen. People, people don't know who I, who I am, most people. Many people might not know who you are. You have a long list in the TV game. <laughs> and, and I'll just say what, what it says on your Facebook. You're a former producer with the Olympics. You're the former VP of the Golf Channel. But we, what I really want to talk about are your HBO days. You were a producer, writer, director of sports production at HBO. And you and I share that in common. I was at HBO from 1999 to 2014. And I have to tell you, and I'm going to let you give your 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 years at HBO, but I, I always knew who you were even before I started working at HBO because if you remember, the end of the telecast, someone would always say a few words like, our telecast was brought to you by Ross Greenberg, and he would say a few names, and your name was always in those credits. Tyson versus Douglas was directed by Mark Payton. The replay producers were Rick Bernstein and Mike Whalen. So... I knew who you were before I worked for HBO. Then when I got to HBO, you were like a legendary figure for the, the pieces and the features that you did. So, man, it's it's so good to talk to you. Um, how, well, tell me, first of all, you said you were at HBO from 1982 to 94? Yeah, George. I, I, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually shocked. Uh, and, and, th and this happens when you get as old as I am. Man, I, I would have sw I would have sworn that we were together uh, for many many of those years. I, I feel like our relationship is such that 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 we spent a lot more time than what we did. Uh, thank you for reminding me that I've got a little uh, early stage dementia here. But uh, but yeah, I I I came to HBO. Uh, I I was I, I was not hot rehired. By CBS in '92, uh, and was let go, and had no idea what the hell I was ever going to do again. Uh, and then out of the blue, I get a phone call from HBO that says we're looking for a uh, production assistant for 14 days to work on a marvelous Marvin Hagler fight. Would you oh, be interested? And I said, absolutely, yes. So at the time, HBO was still in the in the Time uh, Life building. It hadn't right. even gone down to the HBO building. And I came in and I interviewed with uh, uh, with Seth and and Ross. Seth and, Abraham, uh, Ross Greenberg. Yeah, and, and and Ross at the time was the executive producer, and we we hit it off. They hired me. Uh, it, it it was like. Uh, it, it was Hagler, Mustafa, I think, uh, Mustafa and I was Hampshire. yeah, Ham Show, and I was there for fourteen days, and and thought that I was going to pack up my bags and got Lord knows what was going to happen. And, and Ross said, uh, "You want to stick around for a few more shows?" I said yes, and end up staying there for almost thirteen years. Wow! And I mean, when you were there, a HBO was. Um... I mean, HBO obviously is legendary in the boxing game and even the years I was there. But to me, to me, you were there in those early years when it was built, built up and just became this this juggernaut. And the reason one of the reasons why I really want to talk to you, um, when people hear I, I worked for HBO, it, it they're, 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 they, their eyes open up and they want to talk about fighters I talk to and, and which is great. But you were there. When it was Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard and George Foreman and Mike Tyson, I just have pictures of those guys on my wall. You actually, you've sent me pictures, and I'm going to get them in this piece. You've sent me pictures of you and Tyson and you and Sugar Ray. So, man, I'm so excited. I, I mean, I don't even know where, where to start, but how is it that you became friendly with these guys and tell me some of the friendships and like some of the bigger memories you have of back then working with these fighters. Yeah, I, I think it was just a different time. I, I, I think, uh, you know, back in the early eighties, when, when I started with, with, with Ross Greenberg, Rick Bernstein, 
uh, HBO w was was king of the hill. Yeah. Uh, you know, when it came to boxing, uh, as you mentioned earlier, uh, so eloquently, I think you could not mention boxing without a HBO in there. Uh, it was just synonymous. They went together like peanut butter and, and jelly. Uh, I, I think what, what Seth uh, Abraham and I think what Ross and I think Tim Brain, uh, who was one of the early executives there, uh, was so instrumental in taking a sport and making it into a must-see TV event. 